Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds calls it a difficult decision, but she says that the Glenwood Resource Center will close in two years. Allegations of abuse and experiments on the center's disabled residents led to a federal investigation. The Justice Department condemned the way the center was run and called on the state to find ways to care for vulnerable Iowans in community settings, not institutions. Now that process begins as the state works to close the troubled facility. KETV Newswatch 7's Abby Peterson is back from Glenwood with this developing story. Abby. I spoke with many employees off camera who say this news is devastating to them, but also to the families of all of the residents. The state says some will eventually be moved to another facility hours away. The trouble at the Glenwood Resource Center came to light in 2019 with allegations of abuse and experiments on the developmentally disabled. That led to a federal investigation and in December of 2021, the Justice Department condemned the way the facility was run. The report also said Iowa failed to address known deficiencies in the availability of the community-based services for the intellectually and developmentally disabled. Governor Kim Reynolds now says the facility cannot sustain the long-term expectations. She says the decision to close the center is difficult but necessary, even though it's the only home many residents have ever known. Reynolds echoes the recommendations from the Justice Department. She says the best path forward is to reinvest in a community-based care continuum that offers a broad array of services. Iowa House Democratic leader Jennifer Confirst says it's been a problem mounting for years. And with a long lead time, it's still devastating news. She says Reynolds should have acted sooner. You could have seen it coming if you had been paying attention because it's just been ignored for too long. The state says some residents will be moved to the Woodward Resource Center about two hours away. A closer look at the timeline shows the transition will start this July through June of next year. 60 residents will go to Woodward as the GRC begins to reduce its current population in half. Then in July of 2023, the state will begin moving the rest of the center's residents. The GRC will close June 30th of 2024. Converse says from now until then, it's a delicate process. We need to make sure that this transition is done carefully and with respect and dignity for those who live there. More than 700 employees work at the Glenwood Resource Center. The state hopes they'll keep working there during the transition. Incentives include an extra $1,500 every seven pay periods and as the closure approaches in 2020 or 2024, the state plans to help staff find new jobs.